Amen. Amen. Thank you. And we love you. Love you too. Bless you. Thank you so much. We thank God for anointing you and blessing you. Thank you for making use of that which is within you for a good purpose. And thank you for representing your brothers and sisters. Thank you for representing us. May the Lord continue to develop you even further. Thank you, everyone watching all over the world. Thank you, disciples. Thank you for carrying us out throughout the day. We bless God. What a beautiful day we had. What a wonderful day from above. We thank God. Uh, wonderful word. Thank you, all the partners all over the world. We are here together with Christ. We're not just a partner. We gather together. And where two or three are gathered in his name, he is in their midst. That fulfillment has come, and we thank Christ for being in our midst and revealing more of his riches from above to us. It says, Deuteronomy, things that are hidden belong to God, but things that are revealed belong to us and generations to come. So for God to breathe, he needs us. That's why he says, what was man that you're mindful of him? So things that are hidden belong to God. So to take them out, they belong to us and the generations to come so that we can be able to do everything written in this book. It's because of things that are hidden that we can be able to do. Everything that is written in this book. He loves you all. We find that in Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, things that are hidden. Also read Deuteronomy 31, Deuteronomy 30. It's the book of the law, but when you get the mystery that comes out of there, you remain blessed. You remain blessed. So I love it because it says, but what is revealed? So it means what is revealed does not belong to God because from God, things are hidden. So the moment it's revealed, it belongs to men and the generations to come so that, what's the reason? So that we can do everything written in this book. It's a blessing to get what is hidden. And I pray that everyone reach that level of getting hidden things. For he said, call unto me. And I will answer. I will show you great and mighty works. Things that were hidden. Things never seen before. Things that are fenced. Strange things. I love our king. He loves you. And I love it because now the mystery that is revealed concerns him working from within us. Concerns him working. We cannot talk about the revelation when he's not working from within us. Where did we get the revelation? If he works from within us, things that are revealed belong to us. What belongs to us, it's at work with him from within us. He's a beautiful king. Let's clap for him. Let's clap for him. Can we celebrate him? Can we celebrate our King, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Can we celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Can somebody say yes, amen, love you, Jesus? Can someone celebrate our King? Can someone celebrate our King? Can somebody celebrate our Father, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? I love him. I love him. I love my Lord. Remain blessed as the Lord leads you. Remain blessed as God has included you in this part of receiving everything that is hidden from him. 
everything that was hidden from him given unto you can somebody just clap for him let's celebrate him can you relate and celebrate our king can you relate and celebrate our lord and savior jesus christ can somebody shout and make a joyful noise can somebody shout and make a joyful noise unto our king i can't hear that noise I want to see that expression on your face mixed with that noise. <laughs> mixed to that noise. I love Jesus Christ. I love Jesus Christ. Get it. You read Deuteronomy 28, there's some mysteries even there. The cursings for disobedience and uh, blessings for obedience. Blessings for obedience, but you need to get when grace comes. You read Deuteronomy 28, Deuteronomy 29, Deuteronomy 30, Deuteronomy 31. I love it when he says the command I'm giving you today it's not too difficult. It's easy. Verse 11, Deuteronomy 8. It's easy. It's not difficult. So we shouldn't make what is hidden difficult because it's by grace. It's through obedience and we become worthy of his intimacy. 29, 29, Deuteronomy. Come to us. I love my king. I love my Lord. Can you read there with Amplified 29, 29? Deuteronomy 29, 29. Read there with Amplified. And now... I love it again. That's why I want you to read Deuteronomy 28, especially verse 13. Verse 13, you are the head and not the tail. Look where God takes you. You are the head and not the tail. So things that are hidden are hidden with the head. He is all in all. He's the Godhead. Things hidden with him. And now verse 13 it says, and Jehovah will make you the head and not the tail, and you will tend only upward. You will tend only upward, and you will not tend downward if you will listen to the commands of Jehovah your God, which I'm commanding you today to keep and to do, and to do, listen, and to do. Now, Deuteronomy 29, 29, things that are hidden belong to God, but things revealed belong to us in the generation of time so that we can do. That's why you see verse 13. To do them. It says, I am command, this is the commands that I'm commanding you to keep and to do. So when hidden things are revealed, you are able to do everything written in this book. For you are the head. If you are the head, what hidden mysteries are? You're not the tail. You're not the tail. So I love it. It says, verse 13, Deuteronomy 28, you are the head and not the tail. You are the head where hidden things, where all wisdom, where all glory is. It says, and you will tend only upward and not downwards. You will not go backwards. If you will only listen to the commands of Jehovah your God, which I'm commanding you today to keep and to do. So when things revealed unto us, he said they belong to us, we are able to do, we are able. Get the mystery. Once you go for what is revealed, you will be able to do everything. So listen, it's over to depend on the gift. It's over to depend on the gift. God has got better things for us to do all things. All things. Read 29, 29. I read 28, verse 13. Verse 13, you are the head and not the tail. If you keep my commands, 
Only if you keep my commands, you'll be able to do these things. You'll be able to keep them, not only do them, keep them. They belong. So the working of Christ from within us. Christ at work. What is revelations? Christ at work from within us. Christ at work from. So because things are revealed, they belong to us. Come on, the riches of Christ belong to no heaven. Okay, okay, okay. Riches of Christ belong to no heaven. They belong to you. Mysteries of God belong to no heaven, but they belong to you. Belong. you the, how can you do all the things written in here if they are somewhere from within you? Can you read that with, with um, Amplified 29 to 9? Secret things belong unto the Lord our God. Secret things. Secret things belong to the Lord our God. They are secret things. But the moment he says you are the head, what's happening? You're not the tail. And if you do everything, you will be able to keep keep them. It means you will never lose them. You will never lose them when you keep the word of God. If you keep, you will never listen. Let's do away with the thing of coming to Christ, waking for God, and all of a sudden, somebody you've lost something. You've lost something. You are to keep them. It says we are to keep them and do them. To keep and to do them. You'll never lose them. Okay, what's Joyce? The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but the things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that you may do all of the words of this law. That you may do all the words of this law. Now what is happening? They belong to us and the generations to come to our children. They remain forever. They are to be with us forever. Come on, you are not going to the grave or you are not going to grow and get funny teachings telling people that, that as you grow, the glory goes. No, God says it remains with you forever. Look, it has cancelled the teaching now. We were told that if you grow, the glory goes. The glory departs. Ah, it's a lie. It's a lie, lie, lie. There's no scripture that says as you grow the glory goes uh -uh, it's a case proper proper deception it says they remain with us things that are secret the secret things belong to god but things revealed belong to us and the generations forever 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 the glory comes upon you and it remains with you forever so some teachings give you an assurance that you will fall they give you an assurance that no you can't remain therefore you're going to fall but god spoke and said in his word secret things belong to me but things revealed belong to you and the generations forever why? So that he can be able to do everything written in this book. You will do beyond. That's why now he says you are the head and not the tail. You are the head and not the tail. Once you keep the word, you keep the command. Once you keep the word of Jehovah your God, which I'm commanding you today. You, you, not anybody, you, you, you'll be able to keep and do them. So don't disqualify yourself. Don't postpone the glory. Don't postpone the blessing. Some teachings causes people to postpone the blessing. As you grow, the glory grows. Ah, no, 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 no. It means as you grow, you won't be even able to teach the word of God. Because how can you teach the word without the glory? The glory of Moses faded. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. But the glory of Christ remained forever. It didn't. So now Moses came carrying tablets of stones from the mountain. And when Moses came down, he was full of the glory. Now they couldn't read. They had to hide their face. Leaders, everybody, they can't read. So the glory had to fade for them to read the law. So they read the law without the glory. So anything without the glory, you are bound to die in the desert. You're bound to fail. It will be difficult. It won't be easy. 
Now Deuteronomy 30 from verse 11 it says, The command that I'm giving to you today, it's not to dim God, it's easy. It's not the law on temple of stones where the glory departs. Now when you go to 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, the glory of Moses departs. Now we are from glory, we are from the former to the new. The new one, from glory to glory, from this, this one remains forever. So God is with you to bless you forever. Listen, it's simple. I know a lot of people heard this teaching in the past. If you grow, when you see yourself growing, the glory will go. So, if, if you grow old, know that God is going. In any way you grow old, you're no longer a child. God is leaving you. Because God cannot be separated with his glory. You can't separate God with the glory. God, glory, glory, God. Psalms 8 says, the glory of the Lord is set high above the heavens. It's above the heavens. God loves you. And as I told you, it was the beginning. I told you on Sunday that God showed me a great woman with a great husband, failing to sanctify the husband. And now yesterday he revealed him further. I'm saying actually early hours of this morning. He revealed further concerning how she grows to a level <laughs> which I will explain on Friday. Now, he showed me again early hours this morning, referring to what he revealed on the weekend. How she puts into trouble, put people into trouble. And now this represents the church. And now, this time, he showed me the woman, not old, but now this time, all of a sudden she's old. This is the mystery that I will reveal on Friday as God still leads me because I realized that, okay, it was the beginning. He goes on revealing to me and I, know I will speak about it on Friday. But now, what I can tell you this time, she was old. And not just old, leading people out of safety. I'm talking about the wife, the church. Leading people out of safety. Leading people out of safety. God blesses you with what remains forever. He blesses you with what remains forever. And I will speak about it on Friday. Today, let's end up here. All I can say, I love you. Thank you for praying for me. Thank you for continuing to pray for me. Thank you so much, everyone. Because mysteries revealed, it's because some people are really praying for me. Colossians chapter 4, the apostle Paul voices it out. And he says, pray for me so that God can open a door into the mystery. That door opened because somebody really prays. And I thank you, all of you. Praying for me. Praying for the church. The mystery of surviving. The horror of drought. The horror of recessions. The mystery can never be put down by recession. Because Christ is the mystery of God. And we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Listen, it's given by God on a platter. It's given by God on a platter for all of us to enjoy and move on as witnesses from above. Go testify just as the Holy Spirit testifies, Jesus said. You will do the same as the Holy Spirit does. So I thank you all, guys. You know, some of the revelations that I get, just when you open your mouth and get, I know it's not my strength. Somebody prays for me. Christ comes with grace and gives. And I believe he's helping the church now. He's helping the church to maneuver and make it. I will speak about it further. On, I spoke a bit on during the weekend. Now he made me realize that we continue. It's all about the woman, the church. May the Lord God of glory bless you all. I love you. Thank you so much. We love you too, guys. As a team all over the world, no matter the name of the church, no matter the position or title, oneness 
has become supremacy in Christ. Oneness. And let us all grow to that level. Thank you, men and women of God all over the world, that pray for us with encouragements, worshiping together, being one. Thank you to all the churches. May the Lord bless you. I thank you so much. We'll go on on Friday because Friday there will be time. Today, there is time still. Time to rest and watch. May the Lord bless you all. I love you. And I can, all I can say, let the glory be given to him. For this is the reason. I love my king. You can't afford him.
got ten. I got ten. I got ten. I got ten. Get going. Get going. Get going. Get going. Oh, just so at you. I got ten. Oh, I got ten. Get going. I got ten. I get my lead. Oh, just so at you. I got ten. 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 I got I got ten. I got I I got ten. I got ten. I got ten. 
He's able. 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 He's Yeah. 
is my dark and fear. The soul work of my master. The soul work of my master. I am free. I am free. So work of my master. God, we bless God. Beautiful. What a wonderful way to find yourself celebrating the marks of our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 6, the Apostle Paul says, Be careful what you do to me. I bear on my body the marks of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are to be celebrated. As the Apostle Paul says, I delight in the sufferings. 
I delight in these persecutions. For God's strength is made perfect in my weaknesses. So they are worth celebrating. Let's rejoice in them. Where there's no persecution, there's no true celebration. Where there's no mark or marks of a logic, there's no, it's impossible to celebrate. It will be in vain. We celebrate the marks, celebrating our persecutions, celebrating, as the Apostle Paul said, I delight in them. I delight in them. I labor all the more. Applying my energy and power that God gave me to define or to explain the works. We have started celebrating from today and I'm still praying for all those who have cakes. I can see cakes there. I can see drinks there. I declare the body, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare life. I declare even that which is in your kitchen to be for celebration. This is the body, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Life is in your house. Those who have oils, I declare holy anointing oil. I declare treasures of darkness. I declare this is the anointing that breaks every yoke. This is life in abundance. You've been blessed to be made whole. I declare that the body. Take, eat, drink. Take, eat, and drink. Believing that it's the body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and it is the blood. God is with you. Eat and drink. God loves you. And we continue Friday life service. We still continue celebrating until this month end. Until this month end. Hooray! Until this month end. So we celebrate our King, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for what he has done. You know, I would uh, be alone and celebrate even the more saying, Lord, but how did it happen that these strange things come in and you make me understand to even go out and teach them? This makes me to celebrate God more. Not from any man, not anyone sitting down with me and begin to say, look, this is how it's going to happen. This is how you must do it. But the Lord himself directly giving it. Indeed, things that are hidden belong to God. And things revealed belong to us and generations to come forever. That we may be able, that we can do everything written in this book. As you eat and drink, believe one thing. You are eating that kind of a book. You are eating that book with mysteries. You are drinking that report that speaks a better message in your life. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord give you life. As we'll be continuing Friday and we'll come with the message and give you the message, God loves you. And, and, and what challenges me is that he still speaks concerning the church. So we still have to fill up what is still lacking. Something is lacking in the body of Christ. Something is missing. So through the stripes, through persecutions, we are able to fill up what is still lacking. It's part of things that are hidden, given unto us. Thank you so much. We are going to minister. I love you guys. I still thank you for your prayers. I love you so much. May the King of Glory remain with you. Bless you. We are going to minister right now. God is with you. I see hands raised on Zoom. Everyone, you want to give us a call? numbers appearing on your screen you can start giving us a call for any prayer request and thank you for sending your birthday wishes spiritual birthday wishes just to thank god just to appreciate our lord jesus christ thank you so much for continuing to appreciate what the lord is doing here at Trapani center ministries what the lord is doing here through rtv may the king of glory continue to spread that which is from here to you may you experience such glory god loves you Thank you so much. Amen. I believe we can start now going on with the marks, the result of the marks. 
We can start with the Zoomers. We can start with the Zoomers. God is with you. Amen. Thank you so much, our Father. Our friend Zuma for tonight is Bridget. May you please unmute your mic and let us know Zoom in with us from. The name is Bridget. Yes, Papa. Bridget, I think your sound is a bit low. Can you help us in the studio, please? So that I can hear the sight. I can't hear it clearly. Bridget. Greetings, Papa. Greetings, Bridget. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Where are you zooming from? I'm zooming from the UK. You're in the UK, Bridget. How may we help you, Bridget? Uh, first thing first, uh, I'd like to make a testimony. One of my brothers uh, on Sunday uh, asked for prayers for a sprained ankle. Um, I thank you because today I'm able to walk and I feel no pain. I was asking for prayers for you. <laughs> yes. And then, no, you got healed while you were there in the UK. Wow, we thank the brother. Amen. Amen. And God then, is with you. You will send us a written testimony for the glory of our Father. Yes. You can walk now. Yes. So w w can you tell us what happened during the moment of prayer? Were you watching or you just did? Uh, I watched the full like, to watch it yesterday, the following day. Oh, you stop. just watched the rebroadcast. Yeah, but then um, I can just tell you what happened during the night, though. Um, uh, during the night, I felt my leg as if it was burning. Mm. And I felt very hot. And then um, the following day when I woke up, it wasn't that painful as it usually was. Mm. And then I uh, watched the rebroadcast, and today I'm fine. Wow, we bless God. God loves you. God loves you. Amen. Bless you, Bridget. We thank God for your testimony. Amen. And then another thing is uh, regarding a prophecy or confirmation that you mentioned on sun on Sunday uh, regarding uh, disobedience, because I struggle a lot to read the Bible and even to pray. Okay, God loves you. I may need your help. And then another thing was, um, Baba, I've been getting headaches mm. a lot. Sometimes I get them in the middle of the night. And um, yesterday afternoon when I took the dogs for a walk, I just got a headache. It made me feel dizzy. Sometimes I just don't know because like I can have, in a month I can have about four headaches, migraines on top of that. So I was asking for your help, Papa. Not to worry, God loves you. Do you feel the headache now? Or? No. Okay, God loves you. It's the end of it. As the Lord promised, mm. send you for this word over there, penetrating you right now, Amen. setting you free from all this evil. The word of the Lord penetrates you. The soul of the Spirit has entered that head mm. right now to set you free and to give you understanding, understanding of the word, and prayer, mm. we declare restoration in that area. You've been blessed and made holy, and you've prospered in every way. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You bring us a testimony. God loves you. God is with you, Bridget. Oh, thank you, Papa. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Same to you. Amen. Next, Zuma. Amen, Papa. Our next Zuma is Delight. May you please unmute your mic and let us know how Zuma with as from delight papa. hello delight how are you i'm good and you papa wonderful where are you zooming from delight papa it's rose daniel from Kopani. Oh, okay rose zooming. daniel from Kopani. how are you i'm good papa bless you how may help you rose uh papa i just wanted um to thank you i just wanted to thank you from where I come from, I just wanted to appreciate uh, the life that you have given me, Papa, through God. Father, I thank you very much because yeah. um, a lot has been happening in my life. You know where I come from, Papa. Yeah. And even now I'm not working. But then my life is so amazing. People are so amazed about how I live. 
like it's like I'm someone who is working. I just appreciate the life that you have brought into my family. Amen, Papa. God loves you. What an appreciation. And we thank God, you know, uh, people think that you have to, uh, it's just like the prayer that we spoke about, um, praying, saying to God, if you can give me the car, I'll be able to go to church or I'll be able to. No, the one we are praying to, he's the one who's able for everything. Amen. It's God above all. So now there's why many are drawn to the cars that they prayed for, to their jobs, focusing on the job that they get that they got when they prayed, focusing on the businesses that they got when they prayed. Because they said to God, if you can give me this, I'll be able to. No, God is enough. God Himself is enough. We are able through God. Amen. Amen. And I thank you for praising or oh, or just um, say praising God above everything. God is with you. Amen, Papa. Thank you so much. Amen, Papa. Again, um, this uh, child is a friend of my child. He's about 18. So that child, since January, she, um, he was admitted in hospital. Mm. So... He was not poor, but he couldn't talk, he couldn't walk, he couldn't hear anything. Like, they didn't know what happened to him. So he, he was in hospital since from January up until uh, just last month, end of last month. So I went to see him, Papa, and yo, I was so, oh, I was so, I was so hurt because they said, he was overdosed with um, the, this thing for corona. For the vaccine? For vaccine, Papa. He was overdosed with vaccine. Amen, Papa. Corona vaccine. Amen, Papa. Mm. So now he, he can talk, but not that much. The voice is still coming. But the way I live in Ghana, Papa, like, I was so happy. Like, he's like, he's someone, he's like, he's no longer the one that I know. Mm. Amen. Like what's his name? Letaw. Letaw, eh? We're going to pray for Letaw, eh? God is with Letaw right now. The word of the Lord locates Letaw to set mm. Letaw free, to give Letaw life. The love, the light of God has come upon Letaw. We command this evil poison to come out of his system, out of his blood, the light, the light of God shines upon Letaw right now, restoring his body is prospered. His soul is prospered. He has prospered in every way in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Not to worry, God is with you. And sometimes things are called overdoses when it's just one that caused the mess. Amen. Because the truth must be said. Yo, he's like he's but we bless God, don't worry. Yeah, we bless God. God. Bless God. Don't worry. God has done it. Thank you, Papa. You'll bring a testimony. God is with you. Thank you, Papa. Amen. Amen. Let's go to the next Zuma. Amen, my father. Our next Zuma is Vincent. Vincent, may you please unmute your mic and let us know where you're Zooming from. Vincent? Hello, Papa. How are you, Vincent? I'm good, and you, Papa? Yes, you, Vinny. Are you where, Vinny? I'm blessed, Papa. Where are you now? I'm in Ramatlabama 600 in Mafike. Ramatlabama 600. Amen. Bless you. Amen, Papa. Amen, uh, Papa I have two requests from my father. Hmm. Firstly, Papa, I've seen God teaching me how to steal. I have a baby machine that I'm using to make some clothes. Hmm. So, I need a word from my father concerning that. Mm. Okay. And the second prayer that I'm asking for is my my cousin, Ujoini Lady Otsabo Sangoma recently. 
at first nege sa itseli tlogo but recently it is disturbing me now hmm. i am not at peace with that at all what's your cousin's name kabelo makholwe the word of the lord is located kabelo right now to set kabelo free from every ancestral spirit of the word the lord is located him amen the word the lord has intervened right now to amen. take hold of his own Yes, you sanctify him and break every covenant made against him. Life and light is located to cover right now and is done. He's been blessed and prospered in every way in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. And the word of the Lord has overshadowed you to kindle that gift of designing in you. Yes, Lord. You will design mm. through the influence of the light from above. Amen. I declare life upon you. Amen. You just do wonders as you design. May it be a doorway into your destiny. Life Amen. and light is come upon you, and it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God is with you. Amen. 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 Amen.